Hi, I'm Joel. I'm Kat. Welcome to UT Live. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joel. And I'm Kat. And welcome to UT Live. Today we will be reviewing Steven Spielberg's Lincoln. We here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. That this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. That government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from the earth. It sounds really epic, but it's kind of shit. <laughs> He's wrong. It's epic. Epic. It could have been cut down to like 90 minutes and it would have been fine. Like the last half of the movie was It kept going. But at the beginning, the beginning it was, so was dry. Slow. I was like, oh my God, get me out of here. Mm. It's a political movie. It's during the last, what was it, last two months? Last two months of Lincoln's presidency mm. um, in which he was trying to abolish slavery, create the 13th Amendment, as well as end the Civil War. So there's a lot on his plate. So there's a lot of going, a lot of things going on. I felt like, okay, he was trying to abolish slavery, but I feel like in movies where there's um, themes like that, there's usually a very personal story. Like they showed nothing of the war. Really, like there was like aspects. Yeah, of the but war, not but really. Like there was no like I want to see well, people getting killed or like I want to see blood. I want to see like like mothers crying. <laughs> okay, well, in my opinion, I felt that it wasn't. There was just so much going on in it. Like for Lincoln, for example, like I was reading about how you know when they were trying to write the screenplay, not to it was it was so convoluted because you know he lived a really long life. There's so many different things. They just want, they didn't want to talk about him just being you know honest Abe and whatnot. But they just wanted to delve with everything that was going on at this point in time and like how all of these factors were affecting him. But at the end, showing like his strength as a leader. Congress must never declare equal those whom God created unequal. Read the Constitution alone. We are stepped out upon the world stage now with the fate of human dignity in our hands. Blood's been spilled to afford us this moment now, now, now. Stunning performances by all the actors. Daniel Day-Lewis, one of my favorite actors who rarely does movies or chooses his movies well. Um, hasn't, hasn't been in something since, what was it, nine? The nines? Nine? No? Uh, that and There Will Be Blood, which was phenomenal. Anyways, his physicality, his presence, and his voice, I think was a lot, uh, was something, voice was, like... was something that people were talking about because they didn't know that, you know, Lincoln had such a high voice or, you know, he chose yeah. to put more of a higher voice they thought he was like more low but I was watching an interview with him in like uh, Spielberg and he was saying that you know um, Lincoln had more of like a high-pitched voice which also not only made like a goofiness to him but it also when he was projecting for Did doing speeches a goofiness when he made his like little he told his stories his little story. oh yeah yeah his <laughs> anecdotes his anecdotes were the best yeah. but I like the fact of you know he would tell it <laughs> Like there'd be a problem and people were fretting, but he'd stop, he'd sit, yeah. he'd tell a story and people would just be like, they'd fall in the story, but then the story would just somehow relate to what the problem was. Um, but once again, Daniel Day-Lewis, strong cast, Sally Field is Miss Lincoln, uh, Tommy Lee Jones was phenomenal yeah. too, he was really funny. Um, and a large supporting cast too, James Spader, John Hawks, it's full of wonderful actors, wonderful bearded actors, yeah. a lot of facial hair in this movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was great. If you love that, great movie for November. For November. Yes. Get on this. Lincoln. <laughs> Steven Spielberg. Joseph Gordon Levitt's also in it, who sports a mustache as well. As oh the sun. It was it was kinda weird. <laughs> good cinematography, good acting. Cin cinematography is like actually really good. Oh really good Spielberg stuff. He's been doing this for a while. I think okay, he knows yeah. his shit. Okay, so, I mean, I didn't... The only quarrel is, you know, like, the, the length, the pace. Anything yes. else? No. no? Just leave it at that. Just leave it at that. So I'm gonna give it probably a six. Give it a six? I give it an eight. Just so. Just so. Okay, so it's a seven. That's... So it's a seven. From UT Live. This has been Joel and Kat saying goodbye. Read up on your 13th Amendment. <laughs> and Kat will do a dance. For you. Only use like the war in the beginning of the movie. Like, is there a ghost? Lincoln, Lincoln's ghost is here. To, Lincoln's ghost is here to haunt you, cat.
This is why our show doesn't get that many views.